Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. Getting my walk in early before it gets hot because it's going to get hot, hot, hot. It's going to be really hot all week. Oy. So I'm getting it in early. I have some, some meal prepping to do today. Some things I'm going to make to have ready for the week. Some meals. Um... I told you I made my, I got my meal planner all done and which is good. That way I can just look at it and get it together and bake it and that's that. So Brenda's going to eat basically the same thing I'm eating so that makes it even better. And Sully can, all he wants is his garbage meals that I can't, like, ugh, I don't know. I'm done trying to get him to eat healthy because it's not working. So, anyway, enough of that. Um, I have different oats, oatmeal recipes I'm going to be doing. And oats, you guys, oatmeal is so, so healthy for you. It is so important to eat. I would say daily. It really, really is. You can never have enough oats in your life. It's great for your cholesterol, for your blood pressure. Ah, there's so many health benefits to oats. So, speaking of oats, I'm starving right now. Oh man, I just got this like wave of nausea because I need to eat breakfast. That's <laughs> what happens when I get up too early. I want to eat earlier. And I don't want to eat earlier because then it messes up my routine. So it's so usually when I just chug a bunch of water and get on with things, you know. But every once in a while, you get that wave of nausea like you have to eat now or forget it, it's over. So like my shirt, you guys. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I guess you can. <laughs> don't make me get out the flying monkeys. That's my shirt I picked up last week at the at my favorite little trolley shop in Salem. So cute. So this week, when I go to Salem, if if the weather cooperates, because it looks like we're going to get a thunderstorm. Darn it. But um, I think I might go on a trolley tour and take you guys with me. I've been on a few of them, but so, but I thought I'd, you know, take you guys along with me and you'd be able to tour Salem with me because there's so much, so much to see in Salem. And uh, I only showed you just a pinch of it, you know, so huh, this hill's killing me. So, all right, well, I have a great day of eating planned. I had a great day yesterday. I stayed on plan. I did everything I was supposed to do yesterday. I'm going to do everything I'm supposed to do today. And I will show you what I eat today. And I don't think I'm going to get any bouncing done unless I do it tonight. But it's hard to do it at night, you know, because it's, it's better. Well, it's better for me anyway, in my opinion, to do it. Um, to do it on an empty stomach so if I don't get it done in the morning it's hard for me to get it done <sighs> so oh my god that hill kills me <clears throat> so all right I'm gonna let you go and like I said I'll show you what I eat show you what I track and that be that I hope you all have a great day and I will talk with you soon bye so you guys I think everyone should have oatmeal every day. It even helps with inflammation. Do you guys know that? It's great for inflammation, your circulation, your cholesterol, your blood pressure. It's a very heart healthy food. And I think, just in my opinion, but I think we need to incorporate it into our daily diet in some shape or form. And that's what I'm going to do. And it's really satisfying. It really is. So... 
that's it for now. I'm at my walking path. Somebody asked me a while back how long it takes or how far away I am to the walking path. It takes me approximately 18 minutes to get from my apartment to the beginning of this path. The, the whole entire path, which I don't do, is I believe six miles. But I do this one that is, it's a mile and a half. Oh, bunny. Um, yeah. So what I do is I go down, I walk down, walk back up, walk back down again, and I go home the other way. Because getting here, I take the real busy street. And then I just, I walk down, up and down, and then I walk back the other way and sometimes I'll stop at Shaw's to pick up some you know pick up in odds and ends at the grocery store which I'm gonna do today because I need a couple of things there so that's how far away I am always come to the walking path sometimes I just walk around my apartment complex which is it's usually like 15 minutes, you know, for the complete circle. And then I'll do that like four times maybe. So, unless I get real adventurous and I go do another route. But that's basically my go-to walk is either this path or uh, around the apartment. Unless I'm with Kathy and then we go, I don't know where we go, but. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. Okay, you guys, really? Halloween, already. Are you freaking kidding me? I am making my smoky carrot dogs. So you need soy sauce, one quarter of a cup, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one tablespoon of liquid smoke. One teaspoon of yellow mustard. One teaspoon of fresh garlic. I use the jar. One teaspoon of pickled jalapeno juice, but I'm using regular pickle juice and the jalapeno spice. And a half a teaspoon of onion powder. You're also going to need a quarter of a cup of vegetable broth, low sodium, and this is the brand that I use. You're going to cut and peel the carrots to make them bun size length. And put them in the Instant Pot and cover it with all the ingredients. If you don't have an Instant Pot, I will leave the directions down below for using it in a pan on the stovetop. Attach and seal the lid, then cook on manual for three minutes. After doing a quick release, you can leave the carrots in the pot until you are ready to grill. I would marinate the carrots after the pressure has been released for at least one hour. If not grilling right away, Remove the carrots and marinade and transfer to a container you can store in the fridge. I didn't grill mine today, but air frying works really well as well. I hope you try it and I hope you like it. Enjoy.
Let's see if my carrot dog tastes like a hot dog. That's really bizarre, but it tastes just like a hot dog. Here is my dinner tonight. It's just a bunch of leftover greens that I had and I had some grilled chicken that I cut up and put inside and in the middle there somewhere is four tablespoons of hummus and that I'm using that for my dressing. So that is my dinner for tonight. Okay, <clears throat> here is my planner for the day. Uh, I had my oatmeal this morning for eight points and 512 calories. Uh, my lunch was only three points and that was for the hot dog bun and you guys really should try that carrot dog because it really does taste like a cat tastes like a hot dog. It really does. Even that kind of consistency of a hot dog. It's really weird but it does. Um, my lunch, my dinner I should say, I just had a salad with some grilled chicken and I put in hummus for the dressing. I just kind of like watered down the hummus I had. So that's all I had for dinner. So my total points, oh and I had grapes and a built bar for a snack. I might have something else later tonight if I'm hungry, but um, I only had 14 points and I know that's not a, a lot. So. I'm thinking I might grab some almonds or something to raise up my points. Um, calories aren't bad, but I didn't want to stick with 14 points. So that's all I did. That's what I did for today. I got my walk in and that's it. I had, I got all my water in, made what, four cups of coffee and that's about it so um, right now I'm waiting for my son to call me because my granddaughter that just had her tonsils out a couple of weeks ago or a week ago is going back in to the OWA pretty soon because um, they have to recauterize the area because I guess a scab came off and she's been bleeding and vomiting blood all day so yeah just one thing after another over here so Hopefully she's going to be okay, but um, I will let you go for now, and I will talk with you tomorrow.